Okay, so today we're going to be making a flounder origami. First, we take our paper and we make sure that the top side is facing up. Next, we're going to take the paper and fold it in half diagonally from top to bottom. So, like this, we crease it. Next, we're going to take our two outer points and we're going to bring it down to the middle. So we fold along this line and bring it down, fold it, and we take our left flap and we fold it downwards like that. Next, we're going to fold these two points upwards along the line here. So we're going to take this one and fold it upwards. and then this one and fold it upwards as well. Next, on the paper you will see two dotted lines going like here and here. We're going to take these two flaps and we're going to fold them outwards along that dotted line. So we're going to fold that one and we're going to fold that one. So we have two pointy flaps sticking outwards. Next, we're going to take this corner and we're going to fold it upwards. There's a faint line here right along there and we're going to fold it along that faint line. So we're going to fold it upwards and then you will see the fish's eye. It looks like an alien right now. Next, we're going to fold it again upwards along the second yellow line that you see here. So fold it upwards and then you will see the fish's lips. Next, we're going to take the back flap and we're going to fold it backwards and meet the corner at the top. So just doing that again, I'm taking it and I'm folding it backwards and meeting at the top. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to slip our fingers into the hat like fold like this. So we're going to slip our fingers inside the pocket and then we're going to turn it and squish it down so that it turns into a square. And so you will see the fish's face is coming out nicely and its little fin. Okay, the next step we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors and then we're going to cut from this bottom point up until this point here that we've marked for you. So we're going to take our scissors and slip it, slip it into this fold here and we're going to cut along the line into point and stop. We're going to do the same for the other side. So we're going to take our scissors and we're going to slip it into this pocket and then cut along the line and stop where we've marked it. Okay, next thing we're going to do is there's a line along here that we're going to crease. So we're going to fold it, crease it well, and you can also crease it backwards just to make the fold super good. And then we're going to open it back up. Next, we're going to slip our finger in where we made the cut and we're going to open up the fish a little and we're going to take the tail and we're going to pull it outwards and then where we creased it I'm going to fold it back down and then we have the fish's tail so we're now we're done our flounder and what you can do is you can take it and put it on your play mat or tape it to your play mat and then it's done